channel and a, another Fluval Evo video. So this time I've gone and got some awesome new cleanup crew um, for the glass and for the, to help with the sand bed. And I've got a new coral as well. So flip the camera around and show you what inverts and coral I've got. So I went to my local fish store and <laughs> spent quite a bit of money. So we have in here one peppermint shrimp. I've got no shrimp in the aquarium, so I thought, why not give a peppermint shrimp a go and see how we get on with a peppermint shrimp. I've also got a conchy, 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 a conch snail for the sand bed. And last bag. So we've got some snails for the glass and also as you can see there's a massive snail. I thought this was pretty cool. There was a massive snail shell in one of the aquariums and it had pulse and xenia on it. Pulse and xenia on a snail shell which I thought was pretty awesome. I thought that was pretty cool. Pulse and xenia on a Snail shell. Obviously, some people are going to say, Where'd you get Pulse and Xenia? I like Pulse and Xenia. I know it must really take over quite a bit of the tank, but I do some rearranging. So, hopefully, these snails will start tackling the glass. This one wants to tackle the rocks and do whatever. The conchy for the thing. I'm going to do some rearranging. I'm going to isolate this big snail shell with the Pulse and Xenia on. And change the tank around, but yeah, an awesome little haul. So I get them all acc I get them all acclimated, get them in a tank, and obviously show you them all when they're acclimated and stuff. And obviously I turn the light blue as well, and give you a video of when the light's blue, so we can check a look at the coals and that. But awesome little haul. Peppermint shrimp, an orange conch, a couple of um, talker snails for the glass, and a massive snail shell that comes full of pulse and xenia. <laughs> awesome stuff. So, we got our um, pulse and xenia down there on the shell. Um, I've moved my Duncan rock over to this side. I'm not bothered if the pulse and xenia covers that smaller rock. I just don't want the pulse and xenia messing with this rock over here because I love this rock. This has got my Superman mushroom, my two Duncans, and my clove polyps. So that rock there, if the pulse and xenia spreads up there, I'm not worried about it. We've got our conchy conch snail there, and other two. And Torcus or Turbos are getting to work. You've got one cleaning the glass for me there. And one on the rock. And Shrimpy. Shrimpy is right at the back. Right, right, right. It's one right under the back of there. And I noticed it had eggs. So I might have more baby shrimp. I know what people are going to say. Oh, you got pulse and zine. It's going to get everywhere. But I have got corals. That will sting it. I don't think it'll interfere with all the coals, but as long as I can keep it on this side of the tank, and it don't touch my favourite rock, which is my Duncan rock, and my clove pilot rock, I should be alright. I thought it was cool that it came on a um, <laughs> massive shell, and obviously my snails are getting to work, so the sand will be cleaner, and the glass will be clean in a couple of days with these two. Obviously, in the shop, these were actually stuck to the glass and clean the glass, hence why I bought them. They were like £3 for two of them. Uh, that was £14, the conchie. That I got, because it was on a snail shell rather than a rock, and they gave me a discount, so I got that for £10. That bit of potion zine on that snail shell for a tenner. 
and obviously the snail cost me 50, not the snail, the peppermint shrimp cost me 15 pound, it's not bad, two new snails for the glass, conchy for the sand, 10 pound bit of um, pulse and xenia on a snail shell and 15 pound for the shrimp piece, so not a bad buy, so the tank is coming along nicely. Obviously, I can eventually split up all my cleanup crew because I do want to get a, another nano tank. Because I had a thought for an awesome nano tank. So I'll either get another one of these or I'll go for the TMC nano tank. Um, but I've got an awesome idea for a nano tank. Um, one type of coral, no fish, and just snails and shrimp. It's going to look awesome if I can pull it off. But yeah, looking pretty good. So when the light goes blue, I give you a cinematic. And hopefully next day or two, the tank is going to look pretty, pretty clean with the new cleanup crew. And the Xenia is doing well. So obviously I can start pulsing stuff. And hopefully spreads, maybe to the glass, to the back wall. I wouldn't that be cool if it covers this entire back wall? That's what I'm hoping. That spreads on the shell and finds itself on this back wall and this big bit of rock here. watching hope you enjoyed the video if you want to see some more tarantula videos or aquarium videos then it would be awesome if you could subscribe leave a like and leave a comment as it really just helped the channel out and stay tuned for some awesome videos coming soon bye for now everybody